who remember the New Zealand soldiers who trained there during the First World War. The New Zealand Rifle Brigade were based at Brockton Camp, which is one of two training centres on the chase, between 1917 and 1919. Here's our special correspondent, Peter Wilson. Maori prayers and everywhere medals and memories. At the Cannock Chase Visitor Centre, the unveiling of Nagao Tapawe in their footsteps to commemorate the thousands of New Zealand soldiers who passed through two training camps set up on the chase during the First World War. 100 years on, it is my honour to celebrate here that relationship and what has been an enduring friendship that began during the First World War. A hundred years ago, the New Zealand Rifle Brigade trained at the Cannock Chase camps. Among them was Samuel Frickleton. King George V personally presented him with the Victoria Cross for his bravery in Flanders. Today, his grandson stood proudly in the sunshine wearing replicas of his grandfather's medals. He decided, well, we've got to do something about these machine gun nests and with some covering fire and some extra Mills bombs. He attacked the first machine gun nest, kill, killing the crew in that, and it was a heavy machine gun. And then off to his left was the um, Institute, and that had another machine gun nest in, and um, he attacked that with covering fire from the other soldiers um, and was badly wounded. Mark's wife Jenny had memories of her grandfather who trained here too. It's been really, really special to have shared this part to have walked in his footsteps if you like here um, today the rifle brigade were crack shots some of the best snipers on the western front local volunteers have campaigned to keep the connection with the new zealanders strong for future generations they were taught not to use the first finger to fire but the second finger first finger and thumb operate the bolt and nothing fire literally 15 rounds a minute uh, and the New Zealand were very proficient at it. 73 New Zealanders never went home. Many died not of wounds but from the great influenza outbreak. A long way from home but never forgotten. Peter Wilson, BBC Midlands Today, Cannock Chase, Staffordshire.